Hi, I'm Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress blogger. I make WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners. So if you're new to the channel and don't want to miss out on the awesome content I create, well, subscribe and let's get into today's video. In today's video, I want to discuss SVG. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. They're lightweight and they don't lose quality when you scale them up or scale them down. Plus, they can be used in many different forms, which is what we're going to discuss in this masterclass. Well, the first thing I want to discuss is to how to generate SVGs itself. So how do you generate them? Well, you can write SVG code using HTML tags. That's one way to do it. I'll show that in a bit, but it's really hard for beginners to write SVG code for the graphics that you need. So you can use a resource such as freepick.com and they have ton of illustrations. Now you need to have a graphic software such as Adobe Illustrator as well. So you just go to freepick.com and you can use most of the vectors. So these are called vectors and when you click on vectors there are ton of them. You can also search for the vectors. We'll go with the background pattern vectors. We'll download the vector edit it in a graphic software such as illustrator i'll use illustrator but you can use affinity designer or sketch or any other resource that you have so i, I just search for background and let's actually download this pattern so i'll just click on this and click on download now that downloads that particular pattern in eps format which is a way to work with illustrations or vectors now once it's downloaded, you can simply open up that folder. I'll open that folder up and here's this one. So you need to right click on this and open up with Adobe Illustrator. You can also work with Photoshop, but Illustrator is better for these kind of things. So I'll just minimize this panel. Now I'll open up my Adobe Illustrator software. Once you open up the vector, the easiest way to edit the vector is by using the layer mode. So there's something called layers here. Just click on that and it gives you all the various objects that this thing is made of. So you can simply toggle that off and you can see various things that are getting turned off. And then you can select the vector, resulting vector. So I'll just turn a couple of things off. Now I just want this. So I'll just select everything on the screen. I'll click on file at the top of the menu and I'll say export selection. Now that will select or export the pattern that we want. And once you click on export selection, you need to choose the format SVG. I'll just call it design three and I'll just click on export asset. That's it. We generated a SVG pattern without writing code. Now you can open up your SVG folder and all the generated SVGs are found in this folder. See that that's the pattern. So the easiest way to edit it is to turn off the layers that you don't want in this SVG. That's a really handy tip for beginners. You don't have to use any of the tools in this just turn things that you don't really need and if you want some things that you want you can use the direct selection tool and maybe change the color and stuff like that but you know turning it off and editing the things that you want is the easiest thing to do in illustrator now once we have that svg you can simply upload it to elementor freepick.com i think is the best resource for downloading these kind of vectors there are ton of vectors I'll show you some of them. So I'll, I have the premium version, by the way, I pay for on a monthly basis. And you can see there are ton of illustrations and vectors and all of them can be converted into the SVG format, which I showed you. We'll also convert a couple of images and or a couple of vectors into SVGs and use them on our site. I'll show you that in a bit. So freepick.com is the best resource and most of the vectors are also free can download them but you need to attribute the author or if you pay if you are a premium customer you don't need attribution you can simply use them you can see there are a lot of beautiful vectors we'll also use this one or maybe this one anyway so once we have the vector the next thing is to upload those vectors or svgs to our wordpress website well how do you do that it's quite easy you don't have to install any other third party plugin all you have to do is to use elementor so in the dashboard click on elementor Click on advanced and make sure that you have enable SVG uploads turned on and click on save changes. If you disable them, you won't be able to upload SVGs. Once you have this enabled, 
just open up any template it doesn't matter so you can open up any template and i'll show you how easy it is to upload svgs so i'll just open up this template i'll just click on edit with elementor and you can see there are ton of patterns that i already made i'll upload one here in order to upload svgs all you need to do is to drag in a dummy icon widget or any widget that has icons in it i'll just use the icon widget just drag in you can later delete this widget all we're going to use this is to upload svgs so, so once you hover over this icon you can see there's a button called upload svg click on that click on upload files click on select files now you can pick files i'll double click on svgs and you can see that i can now pick svgs that i have on my computer wordpress doesn't allow you to have svgs for security reasons but when you upload these svgs using elementor it will sanitize it it will clean the code and it will upload the svg so i'll click on the svg that we generated using the free pick graphic i'll just click on open and i'll click on insert media that's great now you can simply remove this icon widget all we use that is to just upload the svgs you can upload as many icons or as many svgs using that icon widget and then delete it so once you delete that you can use svgs right from within elementary interface so i'll just click on this column give it a minimum height of maybe this i'll drag in a heading widget into this land it onto the center click on the section go to style and you can see i can click on background and i can choose image from it and you can see that i can also choose the svgs uploaded just like that see that it becomes our background now you can scale it the way you want and the quality won't be lost all by using svgs and this is really awesome let's tweak the background a bit you can also tweak this using the elementor background properties so you can maybe change the size of it maybe i'll click a custom size maybe repeat no repeat you can see that and position maybe center center and i can do anything that i could do with normal images plus since this is an svg it's quite lightweight and it's really awesome now instead of uploading this big svg you can upload a simple pattern and use this repeat option so that will repeat the pattern across and without having a bigger image it will give you that sense of the background image so we just uploaded svg you can use it as the background of any section column or a widget you can use it as icons if you want so i can click on the icon widget let me choose icon and i'll choose this one i'll click on insert media and you can see no matter how much i scale the quality is still preserved you can also rotate this and use the pattern you can also change the view of it from default to stacked and framed if you can then change the background color and you can do all that sort of stuff all by using simple svg images now i'll go back to freepick.com let's actually upload icons or get icons from freepick and let's download them so that we can use them you can see there are ton of icons i'll click on this one i'll download this file it has interesting icons which i might use in my project again we follow the same method open up this folder with adobe illustrator this was the previous open file and the new file opens up and how do you select these icons well you can use again the layers panel to turn off the things that you don't want that but the personal technique that i use is to use this lasso tool just draw around this icon and that icon is picked now i can simply click on file click on export selection and you can see i can simply export that icon i'll just call it cute icon one i'll click on export let's export two more icons maybe this one i'll export again lasso tool draw around that click on file click on export selection so there we have it that's the second icon and maybe i'll just upload or select one more this one click on file again export selection and you know the drill you can add any prefix that you want i'll just click on export icon okay within my svg folder i have all the icons that i need to upload to elementor site that's great 
Now you can simply close this one. Go to the dummy icon widget or the actual one that you have. Click on upload SVG. Click on upload files. Select file. And now I have those icons that I can simply pick. And you can see this icon is just 1 KB in size. Typically your images would be around 300 KB, at least 300 KB, talking about some low resolution images. But if you have huge images, you can see the size of the image. Now I have this icon, it's rotated. Let's actually change the size. Let's add 500. And you can see even at 500, I do not see a single pixel in this icon because this is vector model. It doesn't matter what size you have. You can scale it down all the way to the least or increase the size as much as you want. You won't lose this. All this with just 1 KB of size or 1 KB weight, right? It's really light and these can be used as background images as well. So let's actually do that. I'll click on this section, go to style. I'll click on choose image and this time let's actually pick an SVG. This is an SVG I previously uploaded or let's actually pick the same. Click on insert media and you can see it becomes the background. Now you can use all the properties that you want, center left, center align and you can see that it becomes a really neat background, right? It blends really well and even better, you can use blend modes with the background. So you can use screen, you can use multiply and all that. So you can use a lot of blend modes, you can use typography and now you'll see that. So with blend modes and the SVG background, you get typical effects like this. You can get artistic and creative and you can use these kind of blend modes just with a heading widget and a background of the section. Really neat, right? And this is really lightweight. That's really neat. That brings us to the next section in this masterclass, which is to use SVGs. Now, I told you, you can use these in any widget that has icon in it. You can also use it as a background image and even better, you can use them in any widget that even has image in it because SVGs can be selected from within image library. So you can use image. So let's drag in an image box widget or let's actually drag this image widget. I'll click choose image and you can see I can pick SVG as an image. Now it's large. You can maybe change the width from the image widget like this. So no matter how much you scale, you can see it can also apply CSS filters for it. See that some hue filter and do all that creative stuff. So this is an image widget, but inside that we're going, we're actually using an SVG icon that we just generated. So that's really neat. Even better, you can use it in the gallery widget. So search for the pro gallery widget or the basic gallery widget, whichever you have, just drag it in click on images and you can pick SVGs as the gallery. You can then insert a caption for each of them. Click on that. Now you can change the layout from grid to justified. You can maybe adjust the spacing and do all that. You can go to style. You can also apply CSS filters to them. Maybe you can add hover animation like that. This is a gallery widget, but we're using the SVG icons, which are lightweight. So if you have a illustration of a typical complex graphic, you can convert it to SVG like I showed you earlier in this video and then use it in any of the widgets that support either icon or even images. It also works with image carousel widget. So if I search for image carousel widget, it's this one. I'll just click that. Again, pick few Im these icons. Click on create new gallery, click on insert gallery. You can create, you can see that it's a slider of basically all the things. Again, you need to adjust the size from here. So you can have a slider of icons or graphics, even like that. So you can use SVGs as backgrounds and they together with heading widget and the background, you can use blend modes. You can also add an overlay to the background and then use another blend mode. Let's click on background overlay. Maybe I'll add a gradient background overlay to the section. We'll see the kind of effect that it's gonna produce.
and let's also change the blend mode a bit see that so there are a lot of things that you can do just with SVG and the widgets in Elementor so these are different kinds of use cases but that's not it there's even more to this I told you SVGs are vectors right so you can open up any SVG I'll open up my Adobe Illustrator and let's say I just converted this to an icon or SVG click on this click on export selection and I chose SVG let's call it cute icon 4 click on export asset once it does I'll open up the SVG interface now if you have a text editor such as Atom or maybe any other text editor maybe sublime text editor or anything that can process code Atom is a free text editor you can simply right click on the SVG you can open up with Atom text editor yes you can upload or open SVG with an actual coding editor well what that essentially will do is to give you the code required to display that SVG you don't have to understand any of it all you need to do is to con copy this now with an Elementor interface how can you use it just click and drag in an HTML widget which is Elementor's HTML widget it's this one your word fence might block this so you may have to temporarily disable that copy the SVG code and just like that you have SVG as the HTML you can tweak it using CSS you can change all the properties that you want you can change various things in here if you are the code type of person and if you want to tweak these SVGs well you can also generate code by opening it with a text editor such as Atom just right click and open it with text editor and if you can you can also tweak with various properties there are a ton of them if you don't understand any of that that's totally fine but this this is just another way to use SVG using the Elementor HTML widget so you can use it in any widget that has icons any widget that has images you can use it with raw HTML widget so you can get the HTML of the icon or the SVG and put it anywhere you want using the HTML widget and you can maybe create a custom widget using unlimited elements and do that stuff but that's not even it there's even more to that now you can go to your customizer area I've already shown this with the Astra theme click on appearance click on customize you can also make SVGs as the backgrounds for your header footer or any theme area since they're part they're treated as images you can use them and mix that with the CSS and you have an awesome thing I think my header is from my Elementor page builder I'll just disable my Elementor theme header so that I can use my Astra header and you can see now that becomes my background pattern of the header of course it's a poor pattern but you can repeat it the way you want and have custom control over it maybe you can say 10% just like that so you can put it anywhere you want you can use it with all the CSS properties you can also make it as the background of your footer your header and you can use it natively with Elementor interface all this with just 2 KB lightweight image which is an SVG file you can also work with code you can use Atom text editor and that's pretty much it there are a lot of things that you can do with SVG if you know code let me know if you want to know the code side of things this masterclass will focus just on the beginner friendly tutorial if you want me to make an advanced version where you can tweak SVGs using the raw code I'll make a video on that but that's it for now hopefully you enjoyed it got a sense of what SVG can do I'll talk to you in the next one peace